Hello viewers, in this video we are going to discuss testing for serializability concept using the sedent graph or serialization graph. Before going to discuss in detail about testing for serializability using precedent graph, let us discuss why serializability checking process is important. Serializability checking process, it is used to ensure whether the given schedule is serializable or not. That is, it is used to check the given schedule either as consistent or not. The schedules which are determined as serializable always produces consistent result. Otherwise, that provides inconsistent result. That is the reason before permitting any schedule to be executed that need to be determined as serializable. Okay. This precedence graph, what we are going to learn now, that is one of the very efficient method used for testing the given schedule as a conflict serializable one.
let's now discuss what is precedence graph and how it is constructed and how it is used to determine the given schedule as conflict serializable actually precedence graph is a directed graph consisting of a pair of vertices and edges where vertices denotes all the transactions in the schedule whereas e denotes the set of edges that exists between two transactions ta and tj if ta performs the conflict operation before tj performs okay let's now discuss what are conflict operation okay if p if one of the three uh, combination of operations are done by ta and tj that is determined as conflict operation that is if ta performs write operation on a data item before tj performs read operation on the same data item here q is the data item okay and then we take the second case if ta performs a read operation on q uh, before tj performs write operation on q or else if you take the third case if ta performs write operation on q before tj performs write operation on the same data item q then this is also known as conflict operation so then one, when one of the three uh, possible combination of operations are performed by uh, ta and tj then uh, those operations are known as conflict operation let's now discuss uh, creating a precedence graph and um, how to uh, determine the uh, given schedule as conflict serializable uh, with the uh, created precedence graph in uh, four steps uh, we can uh, ensure the either the given uh, sh schedule is the conflict serializable or not the first steps first two steps are used for constructing the graph um, what are the two steps first we need to find out the vertices and in the second step we need to draw edges by finding the conflicting pair of operations and in third step uh, if there is no cycle exist in the precedence graph that is constructed in the first two steps then we can determine that the given schedule is a conflict serializable schedule otherwise it is not serializable okay once we determine the given schedule as the conflict serializable schedule we have to determine the serializability order of it Uh, by performing topological sorting on the transactions okay um, let us first create the uh, precedence graph according to the first two steps okay um, what is the first step we have to find the vertices as we just learned vertices represents the transactions in the given schedule that is here in the schedule two transactions are there right so these two are the vertices then now we have to determine uh, uh, what are the edges to be drawn between these two uh, transactions mm, here uh, to draw an edge between the transaction uh, we have to um, observe which transaction first perform the conflict operation uh, for that we have to check all the instructions in the schedule one by one so let us take the first instruction that is read operation on x so we know that read on x is conflict with write on x so uh, either that write on x is done by t2 or not we have to check yes of course write on x is done by t2 so we have to draw an edge starting from t1 to t, uh, t2 so accordingly uh, we have to draw an edge from here to here um, then uh, so now we checked this then let us move on to the next uh, operation read on y so what is the conflict operation with read on y write y right so is there any such uh, write uh, y is there in t2 so no uh, no such operation so we can leave it it is not conflict with anybody um, so next next move on to the uh, next operation that is done by uh, t2 so that is a write operation on x so write operation on x what is the conflict operation with that read operation on x and uh, write operation on Uh, x right so students i hope you remember um, write on x is conflict with read on x as well as write on x can also be conflict with write on x 
So accordingly, um, here we have to check the rest of the operations. Here T uh, one is doing a write on X, so it is a uh, one of the conflict operation. So uh, in, between this conflict pair, T two performs uh, first the conflict operation. Um, so uh, that's why we have to draw an uh, edge from T two to T one. So according to this write on X and write on X, uh, we have to draw an edge between T two to and T one. So we have uh, done with constructing residence graph students. Here you see uh, all the inspections we checked. Uh, so after this, uh, write on X also we have to uh, check either any conflict pair is there, uh, any conflict uh, operation is there. Um, so there is no such because only one more uh, operation is left that is read on Y. So there is no more uh, operations are there uh, that are conflict. So we have completed our process of constructing precedence graph. Now uh, what is the third step? Uh, we have to check either uh, cycle exists in that uh, precedence graph or not. Yes, of course, there is a cycle exist uh, uh, between uh, uh, these two uh, transactions. That is here transaction means vertices, right? Mm, so since there is a cycle exist, the given schedule is uh, not a serializable one. This schedule is not a uh, serializable one. Non non conflict serializable conflict serializable one. Okay, that is. It produces inconsistent result. If it is permitted to execute, it will produce inconsistent result. That is the reason it, this schedule should not be permitted to execute. So, if the uh, schedule is successfully determined as a conflict serializable, then only we have to perform uh, topological sorting to uh, determine its serializability order. Otherwise, we no need to perform this fourth step because uh, a non serial schedule uh, for non serial schedule. Uh, we cannot perform topological sorting okay students let us take one more example uh, let us construct a, a precedence graph uh, for that and determine either the given schedule is uh, serializable or not okay so this is the given uh, schedule in this uh, very first step we have to construct the uh, vertices first right so vertices are equivalent to the um, transactions in the given schedule right so accordingly first draw the vertices so number of vertices are three and those are uh, t1 t2 and t3 okay students now we have to uh, draw axis by checking each and every operation in the schedule okay what is the first operation read on x so read on x is a conflict with write on x right so either any such uh, conflict operation exists in t2 or t3 we have to check Yes, of course, uh, there is a write on X is uh, done by T2. Okay, so these two are the conflict one. And in between this conflict pair, uh, T1 first to perform the conflict operation. That is the reason we have to draw an edge starting from T1 to T2. Okay. Then, yes, uh, we uh, checked this operation. Next, this is the next instruction in the schedule. Then, this read Y is conflict with read on y is conflict with write on y right so is there any such instruction is performed by either a t1 or t2 yes t2 is doing the conflict operation uh, that's why we have to draw an edge starting from t3 to uh, t2 so according to this uh, we have to draw an edge from t3 to uh, t2 so we have uh, completed this the next uh, in operation is uh, here write on x uh, by uh, t1 so write on x is conflict with, uh, it can be conflict with write on x or read on x, right? So let us check if either any of the transaction T2 or T3 is doing the conflict operation. Yes, um, T2 is uh, doing. Uh, so already we drawn an edge from T1 to T2. So let us omit. There is no need to draw an, uh, one more time. Uh, there is no meaning at all. So so according to this conflict operation uh, done by T3, we have to draw an edge from T1 to uh, T3, right? So accordingly, T1 to T3 we have drawn. So now we checked this operation. Then coming to this, this is right Y. So right Y is conflict with uh, right Y. Right Y is conflict with right Y and uh, read Y, right? So if we check, there is no more uh, operations are 
conflict operations are done by uh, either T1 or T3. So let us omit it. It is not conflict with any of the further operations. And if we take the next operation, read on X, um, so it is conflict with uh, write on X. So uh, here, uh, so we have to draw an edge from T3 to T2, but already we have drawn an edge, right? So uh, let us ignore this. So uh, we have in this way we have checked the, all the operations in the given schedule and we completed constructing the uh, precedence graph. Okay. Uh, now in this graph, uh, the third step what we need to perform is that uh, is there any cycle uh, uh, occurs in this precedence graph? We need to notice. Since there is no cycle exists in this graph, we can uh, we can uh, determine that the given schedule is a conflict serializable one. Given schedule is conflict serializable one so what is the meaning of it if it, once it is determined as conflict serializable the meaning of this is that it will always produce consistent result okay so the schedule which are determined as consistent uh, that only has to be permitted to execute okay so yes uh, we determined uh, the given schedule as conflict serializable uh, then what is the next step we need to perform uh, we have to uh, perform topological sorting uh, in order to determine uh, the uh, uh, serializability order of its uh, serial schedule. Okay, so that the serializability order of the um, given uh, non serial schedule can be uh, determined using topological sorting. Okay. Let us now discuss what are the steps to be followed uh, for performing topological sorting. Okay, in, the, uh, in the first step of uh, topological sorting, we have to perform, uh, uh, we have to find out the in degree of each vertex. Okay, so here there are three uh, vertices are there, right? So here for T1, what is the in degree? In degree is 0. So the meaning of this is that uh, so there is no edge is pointing towards T1. Right? Is there any edge pointing towards T1? No. That's why uh, number of edges pointing towards T1 is 0. That is what the meaning of in degree. Okay. Coming to T2, how many number of uh, edges are pointing towards T2? There are two edges are pointing towards T2. So that's why it's in degree is 2. And if you take T3, how many number of edges are pointing towards uh, T3? Only one edge. Okay. So that's why it's in degree is 1. Okay. Uh, now, uh, according to the first step of topological sorting, we need to choose the vertex with uh, in degree 0. So, accordingly, we need to choose the vertex with in degree 0. Then, according to the second step, we need to remove the outgoing edges from the vertex. We have to remove the outgoing edges from this vertex. So, if you remove it, what is the uh, rest of the um, portion of this precedence graph? So, this alone will be exist. Because we removed the edges, uh, outgoing edges from T1, right? So this is what the remaining portion exists in the precedence graph. Then um, we have to repeat, repeat the steps 1 and 2 until no vertex with in degree 0. That is again in this remaining uh, precedence graph, we have to find out the vertex with in degree 0. So what is the in degree of T3 as of now? So it is 0 and for this it is 1. So we have to choose this and uh, we have to remove the outgoing edge of this. So when we remove this, um, T3 also will be uh, isolated. There won't be any in degree. So uh, we, we now got, uh, first we got T1 and followed by that T3 was determined uh, determined as the vertex which, ha which had uh, in degree 0. Then later on uh, T2 we got. So this is what the serializability order uh, for the given non-serial schedule. The, the meaning of this is that um, the given non-serial schedule, if that is permitted to execute, that will produce the result equivalent to the uh, serial order of this uh, transaction. Okay. Mm, students, in this video, we learned um, testing for serial serializability using precedence graph. If you find this video is useful to you, kindly subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.